No pineapple on pizza, I'm sorry. If you ain't first, you're last. So much. You said it was better than a Ronto wrap. better than the Ronto wrap. That's not true. Just Dogecoin, how do you feel about cryptocurrency? So it's gonna be a big day, guys. We're going to DCA, we're gonna be covering all the Marvel stuff, they're gonna be going to Disneyland. We have so much that's gonna happen today. I'm super excited. It's deaf, like, grabbing Mickey by the neck and shaking him up and down. I get it, it's from a short, but it's also kind of disturbing. You're the king of bucket hats. Swagger right there, you're the poster child of these bucket hats. I don't think so. I like it! See, he's got a head made for bucket hats. What does it say on it? It says, um, bad, bad vibe only. Yeah. Infamous. True love. I already got true love. You just cannot beat that live music walking into a Disney park. Ah, oh, it just brings you so much joy. Long live the king, lost but never forgotten. I'm like, then they got the little got hover pad. Toys up there. Good luck on your mission. I hope it goes swimmingly. Oh, he's whipping it. Here comes Mrs. Incredible. Afro zone. Here we go. Lamp light lounge. Time to go downstairs. I had construction workers trying to fix world of color over here. As we see the wonderful majestic view. Okay, time for the alcohol. I got the scream canister. We got Bacardi rum, cream of coconut, pineapple, and orange juices with a mist of Angostura bitters. Yeah, this is nice. It's like a creamy coconut. It's pretty good. Oh, it's here. Look at that. Moment I've been waiting for. I love these things so much. Last time we were here, Alice and I devoured many plates of these. Let's just go in. The masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. Right, Peter got potato skins, which look insane. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Now, Brent, when you eat nachos, you don't need a fork and knife. Here we go, here we go. Good? <laughs> I've ordered your secret drink. Yeah, this is called the zombie. It is a secret. And it is the best drink here. It's amazing. It's a bunch of different rums. And the raspberries on top are like the brains of the zombie because they love the brain. I'm really interested to see if you like it. Do I mix it? Um. Or do I slurp yeah, up? Yeah, mix it so then it turns like this kind of ugly color, but it looks really pretty at first. Yeah, that's like so some swamp water it. right yeah. there. Then it turns into Shrek's bath water. Like there's no juice that overpowers any other juice. It's like rum with like a hint of like a raspberry lime lemon. As light rum, dark rum, coconut rum, spiced rum, 151 rum, orange and pineapple juice with blue curacao, maduri and Wow, there's trendy. a lot more stuff in there than I thought. Yeah, basically, orange. a lot of people say this is like the secret menu. It, it's like the worst kept secret in I Disneyland. I already said it was our secret. <laughs> I think when Captain Jack is asking where did the rum all go, I think we all know where it went. It went to the zombie. This is the strongest drink I've ever had at Disney. Um, so, this is where we are. The scream canister was good. We'll give it an 8.5, right? It was good, there's a lot of ice, but the zombie thing, I'm gonna be walking like a zombie. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I don't even know where my train of thought is. This is so this is so hard to make this video right now. Oh, Kevin. Yeah, you're struggling, buddy. So if you're worried about rum, right? It doesn't feel like you're drinking straight up rum where it's gonna like burn and hurt you. There's enough fruit in there to kind of like settle down and smush down the rum where it's not like too much in your face. But it sneaks up on you like a scare actor at Hornites. And uh, yeah. For drunk level, I think it's a 10 out of 10. For taste level, I think I'm gonna do like an eight out of 10. It's nothing special, but it gets the job done. And that's what matters. Cause normally at Disney World, you need like five drinks to get to this point, right? I'm at two drinks and we're at that point. Okay. You know you can get them for go, to go. To go? Yeah, that's a tip. Peter Pro tip. You can you can get a drink to go. Double fisting with the zombies later today. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest part's about to happen. We're about to stand up. 
We're good. Don't have me walking a straight line now. Coming. I don't remember what I filmed, but everything was amazing. The drinks were great. Um, the lobster nachos. If you're coming to Disneyland, that's like one of the things you need to go out of your way for and go eat and experience it. The ingredients just mix and blend so perfectly together. There's no ingredient that overwhelms another ingredient. If you're not a fan of seafood, you're still gonna enjoy this because the lobster is more like a smoked lobster and not a very like seafoody lobster. It's just so good. And the tortilla chips are like cooked to perfection. They're like thick and crispy. And so when you like get everything together, it doesn't fall apart like other nachos. Yes, go get lobster nachos at Lamplight. I don't know what this story is. This, is this funny? No. I don't think this okay. is gonna be funny. So right before the pandemic. He prefaces it though being like, this is a funny story. Right before the pandemic, they built this area right over here, which is a fast pass area. Like they actually have like the plugs in the ground to install fast pass thing. Yeah. And now there's no fast pass. Now there's lightning lane. Peter, this is a scenic route that Disney created for a great enjoyable experience to a stroller graveyard that will go over there. Brent's first time we were about to go on Radiator Spring Racers, the superior version of Test Track. Probably one of their best rides here at DCA. I'm excited. This is Radiator Spring. This is what it's based off of right here. Here's the notorious Radiator Spring. Why are people throwing dollar bills in there? Why? Time for Radiator Springs Racer, baby. Yeah, you ain't first or last. Just a bad spark plug, hippie. Welcome to Race Day. At Radiator Springs. The champion needs speed and style. Luigi, give our friend your best. Explore the new tires to win a race. I'm your new crew chief. Um, don't have now you will have the chance to make this the most glorious race of your life. Ah, there we go. Yeah! Going down! Test track now? Yeah. Hey, race, everybody. You know, I've raced all over the world, but there's no place I'd rather be than Radiator Springs. Let's go! We're already here. Dad, go! Hey, fight. This is way more fun than climbing stairs. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, Spidey. Don't forget to tag me on your video. Hashtag Amazing Spider Man. Yes, I'm cringing behind the camera after hearing that. Yeah! Looking good down there. Wow, this is a friendly neighborhood. Welcome to Avengers Campus. Woo! Hey, what's going on, guys? Oh, me? Well, you know, just spider stuff. Okay, time to run some tests. Spider-Man. Oh, hey, Sharon. Shall we conduct an altitude test? Yeah. I guess I should do some work. Always good to have the data. On my way. Just need to find a clear path for something to swing from. Oh yeah, it's go time. Field testing, here I come. OK, 
Okay, it's time to see what this suit can do. I hope it can do this. It was like short and sweet to the point. He comes out, the, then the stunt tronic goes off, which looks incredible. I think the Imagineer did an incredible job with that. Then he hops over here, and then uh, Spider-Man's down. But you can see that he's like connected to a harness and everything, which kind of ruins the immersion. But I think the stunt tronic, I thought it was great. Spider-Man, it is amazing to meet you. It's fantastic to meet you. How are you doing? Pretty good. I have a couple questions for you. Yeah, what's up? Okay, so I heard you've been doing some studying with Doctor Strange, and it gets a little wild. Yes. Can you tell us what's going on? What are you guys studying? Well, I mean, it is pretty strange. Oh, yeah. A, ter a terrible joke. But I mean, all I can say, is that I mean you guys are just gonna have to find out. I also heard you like pizza. What's your favorite type of pizza? Ooh, good question. Please don't say pineapple. No, don't say pineapple. No, no, no. We, we don't. We, we, we do not talk about it. no pineapple on pizza. I'm no. sorry. I'm not. not not a big fan. I like anything, like really good cheese. I like goat cheese on pizza. Ah, like a stuffed crust too? Oh, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. I like uh, meat lovers. Steve dish is like fantastic. Like, like true like Chicago, pizza. but you're from New York, so that's yeah. uh, that's kind of controversial now. Well, I mean, yeah, a little bit, but like I like all kinds of pizza. I mean, pizza's pizza, right? Yeah, you can't go wrong with it. I'm not, I'm not a fan of like the really cracker thin pizza though. Tombstone, no way. Wait, Don't it, even it, touch it's it. Like a, it's like a saltine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's way, way too thin. I want to like actually taste my pizza. So I yeah. saw somebody impersonating you in Orlando. Really? And I'm still in high school. I'm in my okay. senior year. You might want to send the Avengers team out there. Okay. It was a Spider-Man costume like you, but not very good. Was it a good impression? No, it wasn't very good. Can I no. do a pretty good Thor impression? Oh, can we hear it? Sure. But All you're right. not 21. He loves his alcohol, so. That's very true. I mean, I can't drink. I'm way too young. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Real quick. I'm full. God of Thunder, yes. and this is my hammer, Chris. This is this is my hammer, <laughs> and when I get mad, lightning strikes down from the sky. That was Thank perfect. You. That was perfect. Black Panther is up there. He's overlooking where his ride is supposed to be. I forgot my binoculars. I can't see what Thor and Loki are uh, doing up there. Yeah, you can't really talk to them or take a picture with them. They're just kind of like hidden up there. I guess they're kind of like a little Easter egg, right? We're not allowed to go see Shang-Chi. I'm guessing that there's some, some bad guys that are going to be infiltrating the Avengers right. campus. So. Now, we could stay here all day and teach you more secrets of the Dora Milaje. But we must leave you now, as King T'Challa has been alone far too long. That means trouble, okay? Until next time, warrior allies. Susu, Wakanda, forever! It's popped into Tim's test kitchen. Oh, are the pretzels not working? Normally they like become big and small with the pin particles. Uh, I'm gonna order their specialty soda that they have here. Okay, we've bought the souvenir cup. We're gonna fill it up with a specialty drink now. All right, Pingo Dolce. Okay, first off, we got the souvenir cup with the exclusive, the Pingo Dolce. It's from The Incredible Hulk when Stanley drinks it and there's like blood in it. Okay, so let's, uh, we filled it up. Um, it is leaking, so I'm gonna have to get a new one. But they use pim particles to turn a small little can into a big one. Pesticides in it, be careful. That's what it says on the side. It tastes just like Mellow Yellow with cream in it. I think it's fine, but like when you look at this red stuff, I'm thinking like cherries and berries and like maybe like a lemon cherry lemonade or something. It's Mellow Yellow and they, they put a creamsicle in it. Seven out of 10. It kind of tastes almost like a diet soda. It's got that vibe to it. Sorry, Peter. Don't listen to Kevin. It's good. Okay, I'm worried for you to try the shawarma because I hyped it up so you much. You said it was better than I a Ronto wrap. I said it was wrap. better than the Ronto wrap. That's but it, not true. Just Jeez. knowing Kevin, I already know that you I, I don't know. We if you're watch Kevin like all it. the time, and yeah. he, we're like, "What is he gonna hate today?" <laughs> <laughs> what do we think out of ten? I'm gonna give it. I think he'll, I think yeah, he'll give it like a five out of ten. I say like, yeah, probably four or five, six, five. <laughs> Damn, you guys are harsh. Ten I'm, out of I'm not that harsh. It's like it's a pregnant woman, and the water broke. It's just going everywhere right oh, now. No. Look at it. Oh man. Oh yeah. This product may contain pim particles. Wait, you thought it said pesticides? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let me get my uh, soap shawarma. Is there a certain way that we should unravel it? <laughs> it doesn't look that good. It's like a burrito that like... Listen, the smell for me, once it hits my nose, that's a 10 out of 10 for me. That's, this is like a leathery foot. <laughs> Yeah, the problem is they don't make them fresh. They make them and then they you, they just sit like in a hot, like hot pot or whatever, like a container yeah. warmer thing. And I think at least with the Ronto wraps, they make them fresh. These tend to get a little soggy, a little, uh, but they the smell and the moist. taste, you know, don't yeah, a little moist, a little moist, a okay. little damp, but you, you know, that, we, we got this, this is like this Let's... the hidden gem here. All right, let's take the shawarma. Get it in there. Oh get yeah. It in there. Ooh. I feel like I'm just gonna get. More than that. Oh yeah. Have you ever had shawarma before? I know nothing about shawarma. Right like right... an Avenger right now. Watch him love it. We could be wrong. Okay, this looks like gravy. This looks like <laughs> like some <laughs> clam chowder from uh, Harbor House. <laughs> <laughs> All right, run down. We finished it. I think it's fine. We'll do seven out of ten. I like the spices and the flavors and the seasoning. Didn't really care for the pita bread. It's not like the Ronto wrap pita bread where it's like craving it. It's kind of like a dry, skinny tortilla. This yogurt stuff is incredible. Ten out of ten on that, but I, all together I think we'll do a seven out of ten. I like this that so you can't drink it with one hand. You have to drink it with two hands. Somebody <laughs> uh, put its hand in warm water while I was sleeping and uh, out. Look at that. So we're gonna exchange it for a new one. A seven out of ten on this too. I think it's good, but it's nothing. Oh my god, do you need? To go get it. A wonderful cast member named Alex gave us napkins and a tray to carry this over and exchange it for a new one. Great picture. I think we checked all the boxes. Have a great day. Tony, it's great to meet you. You're a billionaire. Dogecoin. How do you feel about cryptocurrency? Yeah, you're gonna have to stay out of the loop on this one. Just stick with the normal stocks. Good. Don't go yes. to crypto. Okay. You heard it here first. Don't invest in cryptocurrency. Tony's trying to make the door open. There we go. Bye, Tony. We are heading over to uh, the Terran Treats right now. I'm gonna be getting this little uh, cosmic cream orb. I got the purple orb. I love how these like suspiciously just kind of like slide you this little bag. It's like you don't see what's in it. It just could be anything. But uh, the little orb is inside here. Here's my orb. <laughs> <laughs> the lumber coal you got for Christmas. Yeah, you know this is based on the orb from Guardians of the Galaxy, the one that Star Lord steals in the beginning, which has the purple Infinity Stone in it, which gives you a clue to what's inside. Oh, I thought this was like Anakin's elbow for Mustafar. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Orb time. Boom. Whoa. Not as I was, I was expecting at all. Like, that was incredibly good. It's cold on the inside, so it's kind of like a, it must taste like a Trix yogurt, like a, a fruity cheesecake mousse on the inside. Then there's like this wonderful little soft pastry on the outside. And it's almost kind of like that burnt flavor of like, you know when you like burn a marshmallow? So it's like soft, cold fruit mousse. I think I'm gonna do like an 8.5. I really enjoyed that little Terran orb treat. It's time to enter into Disneyland. Okay guys, don't hate me. This is part one of part two of our uh, day at Disneyland. But now my thoughts on Avengers Camp. Campus. The ride, we'll show that in another video though. Web Slingers didn't really care for it. The land is extremely small. I do love the incredible amount of details that the Imagineers put in the land of like Easter eggs, creating kind of like an immersive story. I thought the Spider-Man stunt Tronic was incredible. It looks like he's actually flying through the air. The costumes are funky because they're like Avengers 1 costumes and they haven't like updated them. And if they do update the costumes, it's only for like a week or so because of a new movie, then they revert back to the old costumes so that kind of confuses me and the characters are just so far away that you can't even like talk to them there's only really like one or two little areas where you can meet and greet with the characters it's an incredibly small land but they pack a ton of things in there I'm excited to go back we're going back a couple times this year so I'm excited to kind of dive deeper into the Avengers campus now when I'm talking about like hidden little details it's just like stuff like this okay so we can see the logo if you look right here right be a hero reduced waste to zero it's just like every inch is covered in a little Easter egg and nod to Marvel comics and I love that stuff I just wish they built the main ride that they were gonna build going to Wakanda it's been um, postponed indefinitely right now so all you have there to ride is web slingers which is is not very good. I'll cover that in another video. I do want to talk about their like stud show. It's really bad. The viewpoint, you can't view anything. You just can't stand there and like watch the stunt show. Now, Universal Studios has the Born Stunt Tackler, which is like grade A, the best stunt show I've ever seen, best stage show I've ever seen. And then Disney comes out with this stunt show and it, the stuff on the Disney Cruise Line looks better for the Marvel stuff. Yeah, it's rough. You literally cannot see anything or understand what's going on with the story for the Marvel stunt show. Let me know down in the comments if 
you have visited Avengers Campus, what are your thoughts? What are your favorite things about it? Some cool Easter eggs I should look for next time I visit. Now a huge shout out to my friends Peter and Kitcher. Thank you so much for touring us around Avengers Campus and Disneyland that day. You guys are literally like some of the nicest people on the planet. Link down below. Go check them out if you want to know what's going on in Disneyland and the California theme parks. Yeah, again, a great day. If you're in Disney's California Adventure, you have to go to Lamplight Lounge. You have to get those lobster notches. They have great drinks, great food, great atmosphere and vibe. There's so many cool Easter eggs for Pixar stuff. So guys, if you enjoyed our little Disneyland video, uh, it really helps out. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, join the family, because I will keep you up to date on all things theme park and Disney. All right, guys, I love you all. Please stay safe, and I'll see you all very soon. So uh, that is the back of Radiator Springs right there. And